We're doing some mohairing. Yeah, we're doing some mohairing. Okay, my first question. This is a this is a replica, right? Um, oh, you tell who the guest is. I'm sorry, Janet I Larson from the I Ozark in. Folk Center. <laughs> Janet Larson. Is this a replica or is this something that's very old? This is a replica. This is a replica. This one was made in 1984. Okay. By a gentleman in uh, Wisconsin, Loretta, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Are they usually this ornate with the with the? I mean, it's beautiful. A lot of them are bigger and, and prettier. We mm -hmm. have some up in the spinning and weaving shop at the Folk Center that are just great big. They're walking wheels, and you mm -hmm. turn them, you stand next to them. They're the ones with the big spike on them. So when people say, where does Cinderella prick her finger? Yeah. It's not oh. this style spinning wheel. It's the great big ones. Right. Oh, okay. I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought about Cinderella. Yeah. People may not be able to see, but you have a wad of mm -hmm. fuzz see, in your fuzz. lap. Right. This is mohair. This is from Angora Goats. And uh, we shear the Angora goats twice a year. We're going to do some shearing demonstrations at the Folk Center on opening weekend, April 15th through the 17th. So, and, uh, and I carded it. Here, where's my hand cards? There we go. So we shear it. And I actually spin it raw, which is unwashed. But, and then we card it. We card it. What's that? Just, well, just combing it? Or? It's just combing it out, getting the locks combed out, mm -hmm. getting the knots out of no, it. It's okay. It's people ask me if we wash and comb the goats before we shear. It's really a lot easier to do it this way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. so. something I noticed before we came on here, uh -huh. there was a, you had that bundle and the string was, was done. And you just kind of took that string and touched the other one and they just went right back together mm -hmm. like magic. Yeah. It just, it just connects. It's all just individual fibers. That are connect that um, the spinning wheel is putting the compression and the twist in. So all I have to do is just kind of. People always say, "Well, what happens if it breaks out here?" Well, it doesn't matter because I just add the more fluff to it and keep on going. You just add it together. Yeah. Yep. Now it, it turns into a spool of uh, mm -hmm. twine, I guess. It's thread. Or thread. Okay. Yeah. It makes this is actually a nice yarn that I weave with or I crochet with. Mm -hmm. So once I take it off here, I'll ply it and I'll wind it onto. This is a skein. Mm -hmm. This thing is called a knitty knotty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there's all kinds of wonderful old um, nursery rhymes that, you know, knitty knotty, knitty knotty, two heads, one body. And it's a counting rhyme for winding skeins. So. Yeah. Well, now, what about making a thread fine enough you can sew with? Because you said you'd knit with that. But what about when women made quilts and th or clothing? You can spin very fine Very, threads. very fine mm -hmm. thread. Okay. Yep. Yep. Mm. So it doesn't have to be as, as fluffy and coarse. Now, do you just determine that yourself by yep. how you feed in? Yep. Just by your fingers can feed it. Mm hmm Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Now, now, what type of objects or uh, material do you make? I mean, uh, like... Um, I do a lot of shawls and scarves. Okay. The ladies at the Folk Center... Whoops. Here. There. The ladies at the Folk Center do a lot of rugs, mm -hmm. they do table runners, they do a lot of shawls, scarves, hats, mm -hmm. so, and they mm -hmm. have them for sale up in their shop. Yeah, and you said you're going to open April 15th? April 15th. Okay, so. And, and so that means all, all the exhibits are open. The, the music mm -hmm. hall's open all year, isn't it? No. No, it's not? No. The General Store and the Skillet Restaurant open this weekend. Okay. So the cabins, our lodging facilities are open all year mm -hmm. around. So we have a new um, attraction called Loco Ropes. It's a High Line Adventure in the Trees. I think you'd get a real kick out I, of I'd it. I'd get a real kick out of it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. so. They call it zip lining, right? Yep, yeah, yep. they've yeah. got a zip line and everything. They opened March 1st. Okay. So, but, and you can go to LocoRopes.com Loco mm -hmm. to book event, to book times on the course and everything. Mm -hmm. So. But the Craft Village and the Music open April 15th. Now, will everything be there? Because I remember one year I came when it very first opened and not everything was up and running. It was like, I was like the, there the day it opened or yeah. something. And so not everything was up. Because there's candles mm -hmm. and uh, what else did I see? But they, they did say everything would be up full scale a day or two kind of thing. Yeah. April 15th, everything full will be blown. going. Okay. Full blast. So we do have a cooking class coming up and that's April 11th. So everything won't what be going. What type of cooking? 
Spring greens. Spring greens, okay. We're going to go out and pick some cat briar and see if the poke's ready yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see how to cook all those good old spring greens. Yeah, so people can just register and attend those. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Cool. So if someone comes down on April 15th, what are they going to see first off? Um, people well, meandering in the streets and... Haven't you ever been to the Ozark Folk Center? Daniel? I don't think I have. You I haven't? No, oh, I don't think so. Goodness. Okay. Well, you start out at the parking lot, and you think there's nothing there because the entire Folk Center is up on the mountain. <laughs> so, so you got to walk up there? We ha Well, it's 127 steps if you want to walk. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we have buses that run up and down the hill. And you can run up the hill. So just go to the parking lot and just wait for a bus. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yep. Mm -hmm. The buses run every 15 minutes. So it's not much of a wait. And we've got a little general store down there. And we've got a music and more shop. Okay. And the guys are sitting down there picking and grinning. And just okay. you can sit and have a really good time. And then once you get up the top of the hill, what's, what, what can you we expect have to do? 20, we have 24 different little craft houses. You mentioned the mm -hmm. candle shop. We've got a gentleman who does the foot lathe. And he makes spinning tops right mm -hmm. there. We've got a gunsmith. He actually makes guns. Really? And he's just right inside the entrance. He's one of three shops in the U.S. where you can actually make a gun. And he just did a class, mm -hmm. and they made a gun. Weird, yeah. Um, and then they, the last day they went out and fired it on our firing range. Wow. So. Mm -hmm. now, do you have a blacksmith? We've got a blacksmith. blacksmith and soap making. Yeah, we've got soap making. And then, of course, lots of weaving. And everything's for sale. Beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. things for yeah. sale. Yeah, with mm -hmm. the 24 craft houses, they're all run by pi private contractors. Who, that's their business. Mm -hmm. That's what they do for a living. Mm -hmm. so. well, good, do you good. have to certify in order to be officially at the Ozark Folk Center to make sure you really are doing it you have in to, the folk way kind of thing? You have to jury in. You mm -hmm. have to know your history. Okay. You have to kind of go through a test to make sure you know it. We have a lot of people who come and apprentice, and they'll come study with the crafter for a year or so, mm -hmm. and then they can work down. Cool. So. Anybody making butter? Oh, uh, we do make butter down yeah, in the country kitchen. Really, I like that, yeah. yeah. That's always kind of We don't cool. do it on a regular basis, but a lot of times we'll get the cream and we'll put it in the little cups with the snap-on lids for kids to yeah, make. Yeah, sure. Make their own little and butter, then, yeah. yeah, Miss Marva makes biscuits, and so they can uh -huh. put their own butter that mm -hmm. they made on the biscuits. Yeah, that's, it's yeah. a wonderful place to take children, but it's also mm -hmm. a wonderful place just to take everybody. Mm -hmm. it's, it really yeah. is. It's and fun and educational. How long does the season last? We're open through, actually, this year, the sat through the Saturday after Thanksgiving. Wow. Okay. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. And what's admission? So admission is $10 for adults, mm -hmm. and it's $6 for children from 6 to 12, um, and children under 6 are free. Mm -hmm. Or we have season passes, and the season pass is $65, and that gets you into evening concerts and the craft village during the day. As many times as you want to go? As many times wow. as you want to go. Mm -hmm. And yeah. season passes are $30 for kids. How, many, how often do you have the concerts? Concerts are every uh, Wednesday through Saturday evening. Oh, so it's yeah. on. So all, all, all yeah, time. for sixty-five okay. bucks, you could go see all the music yeah. you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. And then you have a, a fairly wide variety because I like I have had to brag on my daddy, uh, Joe Sasser and friends, Daddy's Bluegrass Group. They mm -hmm. go down there and play yeah, all the they time. Do. They were like they the do. group of the year one year. Yeah, yeah. big mm -hmm. tall. Yeah. That's daddy. <laughs> so. That's my daddy. <laughs> We've got a celebrity concert coming up, and that's not included in our. We do three or four celebrity concerts a year. But the big one that I'm excited about is Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming yeah. to Mountain View. Well, dog. <laughs> That's July 3rd. I'll put that on my calendar. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Yep. So. Cool. Well, we've got a lot of exciting things coming. Well, good. That's uh, April 15th. You start your April new 15th. season. Mm -hmm. Come on down. And uh, yeah. how, how do people get to... To, uh, to the Folk Center? To the Folk Center, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're about a mile off of the Courthouse Square in Mountain View. So, but if you just take Highway 5914 mm -hmm. down from Mountain Home, and... Uh, You'll get to the Folk Center before you get to Mountain View. you get to the Folk Center before you get to Mountain View. Just mm -hmm. turn right there at the Dulcimer Shop, and you'll end up yeah. in the parking lot. There's a lot. big sign, Dan. Yeah. Yeah. You'll yeah. find All it, right. we'll Big right. sign. You won't get lost. You won't get lost. <laughs> big <laughs> sign right there on the highway. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Janet, cool. thanks for coming by and, oh, and doing some you. show. Wonderful. We love it. We yeah. love uh, what you're doing down there. And we encourage all of our viewers to go down there and... and tell you that they saw you on the show here. Well, yes, thank you. Come Appreciate visit. it. Appreciate yeah. it. And ask them if Dan has been yet. <laughs> and later okay. on in the show, we'll be talking with Sean. The Hafer, broom maker. The broom guy from uh, down there at the Ozark Folk mm -hmm. Center. But uh, right now, we're going to take a break, and we're going to be talking with Faye Hexen and Dorothy Judd from the Twin Lakes Coral Society. Yeah. Stick around.
That is cool. It, I mean, it looks very easy, and I know it's anything.